Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Sleepy Penguin Entertainment and today I'm gonna do something I said I wasn't gonna do and we're gonna play Ranked. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel and this is gonna be our first legitimate, in my opinion, EA Sports UFC 5 video. We're gonna play some Ranked. Now, unfortunately, I did my five placement matches, got on pretty well in them. Um, I'll be honest, I'll say I won them all. And what happened was basically when I did the. This is number two, this is ranked match number two. So, ranked match number one, I forgot to record and I closed the game and I came back to it for ranked match number two, which is what we're seeing at the moment, of course. The notorious Conor McGregor against Shavka Arachmanov. So, um. This is ranked match number two. So, in my five ranked matches, I went Zhang Weili, Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, Israel Adesanya, and Joanne Calderwood. So those were my, my five placement matches. I did pretty well with those fighters as you see he threw two straight kicks there, front kicks up the middle, we dodge a second one, go to the body, get a big rock, um, and we get ourselves out of danger, didn't have the flying knee, we don't want to be hit with anything like that, especially anything big, big body shot there, goes for the takedown, turns it right at the end and gets me to the mat, which is annoying. Um, one thing I've noticed right off the bat this time around is that um, it's a lot easier to deny, you know, transitions. For some reason, it's, it's way slower. Um, now, I know he hadn't built any grapple advantage, but before I... Um, I think that he may have been able to get that transition transition sorry so that's interesting another front kick by him I was half expecting it and we duck out of the way throw a, a handstand cartwheel kick to the head nothing there um but yeah it seems a bit um easier to deny ground transitions now given how um they've made this submission game that makes sense to me because now there's a lot of um one tap submissions so you got to be careful of that so i can see why it may be a little bit easier and his balance itself out more to defend him i assume that if you're going to go a high level grappler you've got more of an advantage in the grappling as you should do we go to the body there and again he tries to do the same we try to hit him with an uppercut a double uppercut even and um, nothing landed there though and now we're just going to try to throw shots to his body to get a rock it seems to be that he's not protecting that as well as he should so it's leaving it open for um for those roundhouses to the body kick up top by him gets him caught with a big straight left by connor which is probably connor's most dangerous shot so we push him back onto the fence a little bit really really ticking now in round one um i was a bit anxious about doing these fights especially on ranked because i wanted my content to be good but i feel like the fights i've had were decent i'm still learning the controls the controls are um are, are quite difficult um a lot of it comes down to muscle memory and i've seen recently in one of GMMA's videos that there was a person who had a disability who was complaining about um you know strike inputs being too complicated and as somebody with a disability myself I feel like that's very very warranted um a lot of different buttons go into throwing some combinations that wasn't the case you know for UFC 4 and I feel like it's definitely more difficult there's definitely a bigger skill gap it's going to take time for me and a lot of other people to learn them but once you do i think things should be back to normal but i do i do really see the argument that because there is so many buttons to press in some situations that it's going to throw a lot of people under the bus especially people with maybe limited dexterity in their fingers or mobility and you know in that sense um reaction time is another big thing but i guess you know some of that can come with training it to um be the same as it was in in ufc4 big knockdown head kick behind it and we're going to look to get the finish here two big big moments in a row and now we're going for the ground and pound finish he's curled up on the mat and that's going to do it for fight number one well it's not fight number one i think it was fight number two may have been fight number three but as you can see oh it was actually fight number four was that no sorry that was fight number two you can see there the um the matches so i've had two cents and now we're going into fight number five we're using israel the last style bender adesanya as you can see again sean strickland not yet ranked so after this is done now it will be the last placement match that we have 
um, touch of the gloves by him. A lot of people aren't touching gloves, but I assume that that's because this game has also brought in a lot of new people who aren't as used to things as more experienced players will be. Um, we're not going to target the body so much in this fight. Um, because I feel like I do obviously have a striking advantage as a kickboxer with Israel Adesanya. Even though it didn't play out like that in the real fight. I believe that my striking is going to be a little bit better. We throw them uppercuts there again. I do guess that that's a little bit spammy. It's just for the moment until I kind of figure out my combos. And my range and different shots I can throw. It may be a little bit spammy for a while. Even though I'm trying for it not to be. Um... He's moving his head a lot, and because he's moving his head a lot, I feel like it's going to get him caught by something big. Shot to the body there, if I'd thrown up high, I might have landed it, you know. But yeah, I like um, I like this kind of fight, standing in the pocket with a fighter with less power. I'm 90% sure he's less power. We drop him there, sit him down, and that is kind of the first sign of it. You know, maybe it's not his best game plan to do what he's doing. He's strung nicely there though. We try to throw an uppercut. The uppercut animation to me seems a bit awkward. But we do sit him down there again. Kick behind it. If I'd thrown it on the other side. It would have taken his head off. But I do like that that kick didn't track him. Um, the tracking in this game seems to be a small bit better. Seems to be a little bit more forgiving. Which is good. Because in UFC 4 it was, it was almost torpedo like. And it was very very annoying. So hopefully this time around. We got a better strike tracking system. Um, I'm going to do a full scale breakdown of um, my thoughts on the game uh, probably tomorrow. I feel like it's going to be, yeah, it probably will be tomorrow. I might just jump into quick match. Um, I, do, I don't want to play too much ranked, not yet, because when I do play ranked, I, um, I think one, I'm going to do it on stream, but two, I don't want them fights to be kind of meaningless. And if I'm going to be just randomly uploading them to talk over them, then... I think that's going to be that's going to be the case with them becoming meaningless. So we're not going to do that. Now he's um the fence on the ground has been really good so far. He's uh held me on my back in that position, and we're trying to get out. He's not allowing us to do transitions into half guard, and now postures up. So we got to be careful here. But if we can avoid big strikes by him like that, we're going to be able to get back to our feet. Um. I've enjoyed the grappling this time around more so than I've enjoyed it all the way through UFC 4 and I'm what? 5 fights in? Maybe 11 fights in if you include quick match so I haven't done that many fights. But I'm very much enjoying it. It's definitely a better game. Yes, it probably has its flaws but I will talk about them more a little bit in my next video. It's going to be a longer video. I'm going to tell you what exactly I like about the game what I don't like about the game and I hope you enjoy that if you do and you're new around here please do consider subscribing it massively massively helps me out drop the video a like I'd really really like if we could get this video to 10 likes and I hope you enjoyed this catch you on the next one guys take care and have a great day